511 Rust Series 2.0. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Three River Survival. So today I'm doing a little bit of a review on some of my bags. Now, some of these you have seen out in the field. I have my 511 Rush 12, which is brand new. I didn't even touch it. My uh, 511 Rush 24 and my 72. I will say these are outstanding bags. I am not an affiliate of 511. However, I am an affiliate of Amazon.com. So. I will put all the links down below to any one of these bags. If you are interested in purchase from me, I think I get like two cents on a dollar. So thank you very much for that. Uh, another way you could support me is just to like and subscribe. Add some comments down below if you have any of these bags. Uh, they are durable. I am very happy and are satisfied to uh, do the review for these bags. Now, I bought every single one of these with my money. So I'm again, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I purchased them individually at separate times. And now I finally got all the colors that I wanted, obviously multicam. Um, I will say that multicam is going to be a little bit more expensive. Um, I guess just because of the patterning and the patent that's on multicam. Uh, I don't think 511 owns multicam. So again, you're going to have to pay a little bit more. If you get the black or green or gray version or tan version or kangaroo, like they call it, it's going to be a little bit less. So the objective today is just to just, just to go over some of the features on these bags and to give you an idea, if you're looking for one of these bags, what's the right size? I had the biggest problem myself trying to figure out which is the right size. Uh, and I think I kind of narrowed it down for specific things that I needed. So what I'm going to do is drop the camera and we'll get into it. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to notice when you get your bag, it's going to look like this. The only thing I did was remove the plastic bag. All right. So uh, the booklet is pretty good. It kind of gives you a little bit more information on how the bag is set up. They give you the different types of sizes. All right. So if you're interested in that, it tells you what type of sizes and it also tells you about the accessory pouches that you can get for these bags. Now there are add on packs that you can put in between the Molly. All of these are built very, very well. It does give you a little bit of uh, reading on what multicam is good for. And of course, you know, multicam is going to be a little bit more expensive. Like I said, it will tell you again, our mission is time tested, mission ready uh backpack laptop compartment ccw all that stuff now your bag is going to come with all these little orange tags on it those orange tags are to point you to the direction uh to give you a little bit more of a tutorial there's one on this side that says laptop compatible if you flip the bag over it will tell you the hydration is here it will also tell you that this is the rush tier compatibility um and all that stuff all right so pretty nice bag so let's let's knock these out one at a time all right we'll start with the 12 because i think most people are going to like the 12 all right just have my notes here all right made from 1050 d nylon military backpack is water resistant features self-repairing ykk zippers equipped with adjustable height sternum strap uh two external compression straps and a contour yoke for, sh for shoulders now this is the rush 12 typically the rush 12 you're looking at 100 to 150 bucks again the high end being for the multicam if you just got the black it's going to be down near the 99 98 sometimes um price point all right again i bought all of these on amazon all right the main compartment is 18 by 11 by 6 uh 6 inches front admin panel uh 12 by 9 hydration pocket total capacity for this is going to be 1467 cubic inches so 1467 cubic inches and it is a 24 liter bag which weighs 2.6 pounds so just quickly i'll show you what this looks like on the inside all right ykk zippers it definitely has enough like this to me is like a really nice edc all right it does have the pocket for your ccw if you wanted to add your ccw in there it does have the little admin pouch like i said right here the compression straps are on the side if you needed to. All right. Does have a nice drag handle up top. 
and also a sunglass pocket, all right? I call this a sunglass pocket, but inside here is felt lined, all right? So anything like electronics or uh, something that you don't want to get scratched, you would put it in there, all right? When you open the bag, let me get this out of here. It's kind of a clamshell. You're gonna get two pockets on the 12. You have two mesh pockets, one here, one here, not a third one. The third one continues on. You do have this laptop case, or they call it a laptop case because it is padded, but you can put something in here that you wanna protect. Uh, you're not gonna be able to fit a 17 inch laptop in here. I tried, it's not gonna work. Uh, they call it a laptop compartment, so 15 or less, so 15 inches or less is gonna fit in here. This is just a top pocket. Uh, a lot of people use that for, I don't know, maybe like a sappy plate or something. Adjustable sternum straps, all right, really comfortable. This is what the back looks like. You have a little bit of um, padding on each side. And again, this is your hydration carrier, all right? The hydration carrier works very well. It's a uh, stiff backing here. And inside here is where you put your hydration bladder. Hydration bladder would go through here. And then there's a little pocket where you would stick your hose. All right, your hose comes through here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get closer where my thumb is. And then you would run it you know, down one of your straps. The straps are very, very nice and padded. It does have this yoke. This yoke is supposed to go on the base of your neck, so it makes it a little bit more comfortable. This is not a very large pack, all right? I have one in a different color. I had the first version and it was good, but it wasn't very large to put a lot of stuff in. It does have the strap buckles for the waist. However, there is no waist buckles on here, all right? So again, don't load this down. I have looked everywhere. I cannot find any waist buckles specifically made for 511 gear. However, they are there. So if you wanted to make your own or find a company that makes them for them, that's fine. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, this is a, I think, so I believe these are two inch buckles. So that should be good to go. If you can find a two inch piece of strapping and you wanted to make a waist belt, you can do that. Again, it does not come with it. All right, so I'll give you another idea what that looks like. On the bottom of the bag, You do have some strapping, so if you wanted to add, let's say, uh, a little bit more of, uh, you know, a, a bed roll or something like that, or a poncho or something like that, some bungee cords, you can do that as well. The whole bag itself is full of molly, all the way around the sides, so that's nice if you wanted to add some extra, you know, water bottles or something like that. The front panel also has molly. Okay. And of course it has morale patches. So if you wanted to put something here and up on top, you can put your name tape, that kind of thing. All right, so that's the Rush 12. Rush 24, one of my favorites. All right, this is the middle capacity. I think this is what most people will use. Again, Rush 24 runs about 135 to 185 main compartments, 20 inch by 12.5 by eight inch. Front admin panel is 12 by 11. Hydration pocket is in the back, 17 inch. Total capacity is 2275 cubic inches or 37 liters. And the weight on this is four pounds to, I'm sorry, four pounds, 4.2 pounds. All right, same thing, all right, really nice, large capacity. Again, you can add a lot of things in here. It has Velcro pockets pens, papers, that kind of thing. It does have a zipper pocket, it has key fobs, all that stuff, all right? And on this side, again, you have your CCW pocket. Of course, this bag is a little bit bigger, so you're gonna have some room in there. The difference here is that the admin pouch zipper, the admin pouch zippers open uh, through the center, all right? It's not one big admin pouch, all right? So that's pretty neat. It has a pocket here and a zipper mesh pouch in here on both sides all right again you have the uh velcro line the velcro for the name tape and the velcro for any motivational or unit patches also have um also have two compression pouches now what's different on this is on the side of these bags you have 
a separate pouch that you can unzipper and put a water bottle in here. All right, so that's kind of nice, or maybe an extra magazine or something like that. Um, so they're both on, on each side. You have one on each side, okay, zipper pouch. All right, so that's kind of nice. Now, the thing you need to understand though is that because there's Molly everywhere, this is a pouch, all right? It's not sewn to the bag. So if you are going to put extra stuff on here, you're probably not gonna wanna use that zipper anymore uh, because it's flimsy. It's not as strong as it is anymore because of the pouch, all right? Uh, to each his own how you wanna use it. But again, great bag, again on the bottom. It does have the latching points if you want to add something. This adds a little bit more capacity, which I'm a big fan of. If you guys watched the video where I was out with my son, this is the bag that I used. What this does inside is it added a, a, third, uh, a third pocket, all right? So you have, again, two mesh pouches up top, one, two, and then you have a third pocket which is nice, all right? It's not mesh, but it works very well. Again, on the inside of the bag, it does have the quote unquote um, laptop pouch where you can put something in here. Again, not gonna fit a 17 inch laptop, only 15 or lower, all right? Again, you can put all kinds of stuff in there if you like. On the top, you have again, the pocket for uh, sunglasses, that kind of thing. So the felt pocket, nice drag handle. And then on the back, same thing. You have your water bladder pocket, water bladder pocket, and you also have the hole for the drip tube or you have your hole for the tube. So that'll work very well uh, to get that water bladder working for you. And again, same thing on the back, as you can see. It does have a little bit of padding, but not much. And again, two inch buckles, but no waist strap. All right, so again, you're gonna have to go out there and look for it or engineer it, that kind of thing. All right, adjustable, yo adjustable sternum strap. Very nice, good to go. And again, quick release buckles. All right, if you need to get out of this in a hurry. Um, this to me is probably one of the most useful packs as like uh, a field pack. All right, it's a little bit bigger than EDC, but it offers you a lot more as well. All right, let's get to the 72. All right, the 72 pack. All right, this is the Rush 72. It runs about 165 to about 200 bucks. Again, multicam is gonna be more money. Dimensions main pocket, pocket main compartment for the dimensions is gonna be 23 inches by 13.5 by eight inches. Front admin panel is 15 by 11 by two. Hydration pocket is 21 inches deep. Uh, total capacity is 3342 cubic inches with a 55 liter total. The weight on this is 5.5 pounds. All right, so this is sort of like as large as I would like to go in any type of uh, SHTF or camping or bug out scenario. If you watch my videos, you know I did a bug out test with it. The difference here is you have this pocket that is like a jacket pocket or a helmet pocket. Um, you can, it, it's attached to the compression straps, okay? So it is one, two, three, four compression straps all right this pocket here again is to throw anything that's bulky this makes a great hunting pack as well on the front you're going to see a lot of molly again still has the velcro if you open this up it's going to give you a lot more space again you have a zipper pouch up here for a mesh pouch and again you have some organizational stuff okay so organizational pouches uh, any types of pens, papers, more zipper pouches, more hidden pouches, key fobs, that kind of thing, all right? Uh, I would not overload too much of the front panel because depending on what you're putting in here is gonna depend on how this thing kind of works, all right? You'll have your CCW concealed carry pocket, which is very, very large. 
uh, you can almost fit like I would say a small AR in there. It's it's kind of big uh, or any large handgun you could probably fit in there. You decide what you want to put in there. The zipper pouch or the admin pouch is really, really nice and robust. It falls down or falls down versus um, from side to side split zipper pouch. I'm sorry, mesh pouch on the inside of this pack. It clamshells. On the inside of this pack, as you can see, it gets larger. It has one, two mesh pouches. And again, it has that third pouch at the bottom. It is not mesh. This will fit a 17 inch laptop. All right, so this is very large. This is your pocket for uh, your laptop. If you choose to decide to bring it to the field, it's there. And on the top, just like all the other ones, you have a nice drag handle and again, a very large electronics pouch or sunglass pouch. On the back, very comfortable shoulder straps, sternum strap, and again, finally, you have a waist, uh, waist belt. All right, now this waist belt can tuck in you can see these little pockets here. So if you didn't want to use it, I, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you didn't want to use it, you can also do that. They are adjustable and you do have Molly on the sides. All right, so if you wanted to attach like another canteen or a water bottle or something like that, you can. On the sides of the pack, you do have another zipper. All right, so this is more for water bottles and you have one on each side, okay? You have one on each side. All right, so let's go back up top and finish up. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, again, you decide which one you like, all right? I think that uh, the 12, again, it's not supposed to be 12 liters. 12 just means 12 hours, 24 hours, and 72 hours. That's what, Rush, that's what 511 was trying to incorporate i think they did a really good job and again you don't have to get these colors these colors are going to be more expensive um, i have a lot of experience with the 24 and the 72. Uh, i don't have too much experience with the 12 other than the first version of it and i do like it i think it's a little bit small for my needs however to each his own i think the rush 12 would be an outstanding edc bag or a gym bag or a range bag um, Maybe the 24 would be something for like a day hike, that kind of thing. All right, so if you're going to be out 24 hours, it also makes a good uh, soldier or marine bag. So some something like a three-day pack. And then the 72-hour bag would be something great for, you know, longer treks, you know, more than an overnight. All right, so this is definitely a 72-hour bag. 55 liters, you can put a lot of stuff in there, all right? Um, the only thing I don't like about 511 is the waist strap. I have no idea why the clips are on these bags and there's no waist strap. Um, I think for the price that you're paying, you can add a two inch piece of nylon with some buckles on it. That's just my gripe. Uh, I do have other colors in uh, a couple of these bags and you know, they work great. Um, so what I need you guys to do is to like, subscribe, share this video. Put some comments down below if you have any of this equipment. If you like this equipment, don't like this equipment, uh, let me know. Um, also, if you want to be a Patreon member, only cost you $1 a month. Uh, I'll put all the links down below. I'll put all the links down below to these bags. Also, check out my other channels, Three River Blades and Three River Kydex. If you want discount codes on uh, my products, then what you need to do is go to threeriverblades.com, go all the way down to the bottom, get on that mailing list. That mailing list is the only place that I'm sending discount codes. All right, guys, thank you very much. And as always, stay safe.